welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a drum roll please. This haul video. This is technically my VIP Rouge haul slash like Sephora shipping got so fucked during the VIP sale. So everything arrived late. I'm honestly kind of over the whole like Rouge sale but I did get some stuff and I did leave it in the box, a few things. So I figured I'd just throw them up in a haul for you guys. That way, if you wanted to see dedicated videos on any of these things, or you wanted to give me like a reminder, like Karen, please review this product for us. You guys can go ahead and mention it in the comments down below. So without further blabbering, let's get into this haul. Hey guys, so one of the things I was bound and determined not to buy was this Becca Aprisky Glow face palette and I literally came on the very last day of the VIB Rouge sale. This was the last thing I ordered and I am so glad I did because it's the face palette on my face today. I'm absolutely obsessed with the shade Blush Copper which is a beautiful like blush shade on me. Plus it highlights and of course Opal which is a good old you know Becca staple and I do love their what are these called the bronzers that they did the sunlit bronzers I think I love that formula this palette is amazing I love how compact it is I love that you get more than one color and this thing went on sale for $35 so I hope you guys managed to pick it up when it was on sale I ended up buying a second one because I'm hoping they'll just let me return the one I paid $43.50 for and keep the one for $35. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm honestly really glad I picked this up and it's a really great way to try Becca's products without buying one like highlighter for $38. So that is the first item. I'm very glad I picked that up even though at first I was like, no way, no more Becca palettes. I don't even touch my Jaclyn Hill palette. But I think this one is a step up because it has a highlighter, it has blushes, it has a bronzer, and it's actually going to work for people with my skin tone, which is nice because most face palettes, it's like, I feel like inevitably the tan girls and the dark girls get left out. So it's nice that they did something that was kind of suitable for the medium category, which makes me really, really happy. Okay, so I know I made it sound like this was gonna be a makeup haul, but I've been hiding these items in my beauty room, so I figured I would definitely show you guys. Now, I know some people are huge like Starbucks mug collectors. This is the mug I picked up from Holiday last year. It's so cute. And of course, I was at Target, and my Target has a Starbucks in it, and boy oh boy did I go crazy. I showed one of the smaller mugs I had picked up which is like a beautiful baby pink with like all glitter. I'm actually using it upstairs in my bedroom for when I get thirsty you know. But I also ended up buying this one. So this is part of the holiday this year and it's basically full of sequins on the inside. I love having these all over my house because I of course want to try and drink more water. So yeah this is the one from last year but I was so obsessed with how this looked and they had so many different colors. Starbucks mugs kill it and they're not cheap by any means but like I literally lost like all self-control when I saw these because I literally bought three mugs in one day which I've never done before and I usually feel so bad because they are so expensive but I don't know, I feel like I was able to justify them because I was like, well, they're for hydration. And so this one, I feel like any booty guru, you know, can't really pass up because it's like covered in little eyes and eyelashes and like little winky faces. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so cute. They also have a ceramic mug with the little lash print and I was like... But I didn't do it, but I feel like these would also make really awesome gifts. Now these are gifts to myself, but I still think they're really cool. So if you're looking for some Starbucks mugs, I know Nicole on her Snapchat, Young Model and Polish, she's always talking about Starbucks mugs and I feel like I blame her for starting this like mug obsession that I have, like I collect the plastic cups from Starbucks. Some people collect like the Starbucks mugs, like the CD mugs. I know we have a friend, our best man from our wedding, has a huge collection because he travels all the time. So he has Starbucks mugs from like everywhere. 
Um, but yeah, I collect the cups because they're really, really cute and I just like cannot resist. I feel like I have about four, one of them got ruined in the dishwasher, but I keep adding on my husband's like, uh, like really? But you know, it is what it is. So anyway, back on to the makeup. So I basically tried to save some of the stuff for a haul. I left it all in the box. Some of it I don't really need right away, so I'm like, I need to put that away. So of course, this VIB sale, I decided to stock up on my favorite foot mask. This is by Sephora Collection. And I always talk about these in my videos. I have really dry feet. I like to put these on every once in a while between like pedicures and stuff like that, just to give my feet some extra hydration. Of course, I basically live in Alaska. I don't actually live in Alaska, but if you've been to Fargo, North Dakota, it is cold as shit in here. So yeah, I like to keep those to hydrate my feet a little bit extra. Now this was not from Sephora, but like I said, it's in a box. This is like the little holiday snowball prep and prime kit with the little fix plus. This wasn't really like the greatest deal on earth, but these little ones are usually $10 a piece and this set is $20. So you basically get one for free. I can't remember off the top of my head how much a bottle of fix plus is on its own, like a bigger one, but I was kind of obsessed with the, uh, with the packaging and the presentation. So I did end up buying it from, I think I got it off of a uh, max website because these things were selling out so quickly, but I think I also saw it like Macy's.com and stuff like that, so very exciting stuff. I also decided to try a hair fragrance. This is by Taka, I think is how you say it, and I think this was like 25 bucks, and I was like, well, I don't wear wash my hair every day, so I wanted to pick up a hair fragrance. I haven't tried this out yet. I keep forgetting, so I need to put this in my bathroom where I do my hair, so I remember to spray some of this in my hair. Another thing I bought just to try out is the Dr. Jart Best Face Forward Skin Solve and Sika Strong, like, what are these? It's a cream, ceram, ceramidin and a ceramidin cream, I believe. Stephanie Nicole talked about one of these products in her recommendations video. And I feel like I have so much skincare that I don't really need to buy full sizes of anything. So I thought I'd pick up this little set for 20 bucks and try out some of the Dr. Jart skincare. This is not a Sephora purchase, but I did film a swatch video for this. This is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. I honestly did not want this palette, but now that I have it, I'm so glad I purchased it. And also, this is the palette I was actually going for at BH Cosmetics. This is the BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray collab. So look for review videos coming from those two palettes. I'm so pumped to have those here. I haven't bought something from BH Cosmetics in a really long time, so I'm excited to see if they've made any improvements in their quality. Two lip products, I was so excited these launched separately. I feel so bad for people that picked up the whole set because, you know, Kat Von D is kind of sneaky. She didn't announce that they were gonna be sold separately until after they released the bundle, which was like 80 bucks. And I get it, it's like, some of it goes to charity, but it's like, I get that we want to support like good causes, but it's also like I'm also a charity because this is like my hard earned money. So I picked up the shoot two shades that I was interested in. So I got Hilda and Thumberlina and I'm so excited. Hilda is actually the shade I'm wearing on my lips right now and it's like the perfect nude for me. I'm so pumped. This packaging is so cute. They have the little animals on the boxes and stuff like that. I'm still bitter about not picking up Project Chimps. So if you guys ever see that coming back in stock and you think of me, please just like message me or DM me on Instagram so I can pick that up because I 100% not regret not picking up that shade because I, in my head I feel like that would have been the perfect like terracotta red for me. Um, they did send me a replacement for my Huda Beauty uh, Golden Sands palette. That first one came completely shattered, so I'm really, really excited to get a unshattered one. I did play with the one that was shattered and it was really beautiful, so I'm excited to have this in my collection as well. Okay, this was like a total 
like suckering in by all the other YouTubers that were filming recommendations videos. Everyone was talking about Sol de Janeiro products. I feel like I didn't even want Sol de, de Janeiro products and I got talked into them. So I did end up picking up the moisturizing shower creme gel and this says that it has a pistachio caramel scent so I figured you know what I treat myself and just get one I'm not gonna get addicted and hooked on this where I am gonna keep repurchasing it but since it was sale I was like sure whatever I'll buy it and then I also bought the Brazilian kiss lip balm I did actually end up finding a set where I got the bum bum cream the lip balm and the body splash included so I may end up taking this back I'm not very impressed with the lip balm like it's okay but it's not like the fresh sh like sugar bomb you know what I'm talking about that maroon packaging um, it's not as good so if you skipped out on the Brazilian bum bum cream lip balm I think you'll be okay this was a really random purchase, but I thought it would be so fun for the holidays. This is the IGK Pre-Party Hair Strobing Glitter Spray. Now, I haven't tried this out yet, but you guys best believe I will be, you know, all over this. It says, inspired by highlighters for your face, this strobing glittery, glittery spray gives hair a party. Ready radiance by capturing and diffusing light for a soft, luminous effect day or night. This universally flattering shade contains moon stone extract and ultra finely milled glitter particles that create the ultimate glimmer as soon as it's applied so i will definitely be testing this out girl with the holidays you know i want to be sparkling from head to toe this was also like one of those things where i'm like really why did i buy that because of course i convinced myself that i was going to start wearing lashes on my channel more now I don't know if you guys saw Jessica Braun, I think is her name. She did a video call, things that beauty gurus do that I don't do or like why I'm not a typical beauty guru or something like that. If I remember, I'll link that video down in the cards. It was so funny because she like described some things where I'm like, do I do that because I've been watching YouTube for so long? Like she said like, I will um, not dye my hair because like everyone, on YouTube, it seems like they dye their hair, they have extensions, everyone's always got like a perfect manicure, everyone always has like false lashes, and when I watched her video, I was like, you know, she's right, because like, I don't wear false lashes on a daily basis, so it's like, why am I trying to like be something I'm not? But I feel like if you are a YouTuber, like if you make YouTube videos, you kind of do feel like that, wow, your lashes are going to look so pretty if you wear fake lashes. So I did pick up this little set from um, House of Lashes and Sephora collection. I do wear Ardell like Demi Wispies or Wispies every once in a while, like if it's like a big party or something like that. Uh, but I never reuse them. And... I was watching Samantha March the other day and she talked about how she washes the lashes and she takes really good care of her lashes and I'm like, wow, maybe I need to like learn how to do that, take care of my lashes, reuse my Ardell um, lashes without just tossing them after one wear. So if you guys are very like lash savvy, can you like leave me some tips on how to care for my lashes in the comments? I would like 100% like appreciate that or if you've seen a really good video on lash care, I would really appreciate that as well. So again, this was one of those things that I really didn't need, but it just looked so cool and I was like, well, it's on sale. So I did pick up the Boskia Jelly Ball Cleanser. This is in the limited edition pink shade. I don't need a cleanser right now in particular, so I think this is gonna sit around for a little while, but as soon as I do start using it, I'm sure I'll talk about it on Instagram or you know Instagram stories or something like that another item I've always wanted to buy this and I finally just like bit the bullet and did it this is the by beauty agave lip mask everyone like swears by this mask so I was like you know what let me get it so I can see what all the hype is about so definitely stay tuned for that this purchase was a purchase because I watch my friend dollhouse Columbo I think is her Instagram I will go ahead and link it up in the cards for you guys if you're interested. She raves about this Bosha Subaki Splash Mask, and it says it's a highly concentrated instant deep hydration treatment. Of course, it's winter here where I live, so I'm like, you know what, I need all the hydration I can get. So I did pick this up, and I'm very excited to put it on my face. I haven't yet because I'm a lazy bee, and I have all
all the stuff to get put away. Another item I'm so curious to try is the Sephora collection, the Insta Blend Pigment, I don't know, it's like a spray on foundation. And basically I thought this might be a good dupe for the Dior Air Flash foundation. I did pick up the Dior foundation, but I didn't get my right shade, so I did end up returning it. Plus that foundation is so expensive and it blows my mind that it's in like an aerosol can. And I feel like you're gonna like run out of it so much sooner but this was on sale i think for 20 bucks so i was like you know what let me try the sephora kind and see if this is a better color match i also picked up a bunch of the urban decay new uh glitter liners they're actually over there so i don't have them in here i did pick up three shades this is cat call punk rock and i also picked up like Sticks and Bones, I think, is the shade. I'm not overly impressed with any of the new shades. I own Midnight Cowboy, and I, I feel like ultimately all you really need is one, and Midnight, Midnight Cowboy is the one I would recommend picking up, to be completely honest with you guys. Actually, here is the shade Sticks and Bones. It's like a really dark purple. I don't know. It's kind of different. It's very, like, edgy. It's very Urban Decay, but I don't know if it's very Karen Harris, if you know what I mean. So here are some of the eyeshadow palettes I picked up in the last couple of days. I just got the Huda Smoky Obsessions because mine, the black, came shattered. So I just got another one um, and returned the shattered one. I also did get a, get the Tarte Toasted Palette in the sale as well. So I'm testing that out. Look for a review soon. And then I recently picked these up from Black Friday. I have the Double Entendre Palette and the Take Me Home palette. I'm actually wearing the Take Me Home palette on my lids right now. And to give you guys a, a really quick review, if there's a beauty lover in your life or you're a beauty lover, I would 100% recommend snatching up one of these palettes. I definitely feel like the Double Entendre is a dupe for the Tarte Toasted palette. I will have a video swatching both palettes with the similar shades. So Definitely feel free to check that out. If it's up already, I'll try and link it for you guys. I also picked up, this has slowly become one of my favorite mascaras. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous, L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Black is Black. This is such a cheap mascara, it's like six bucks, but I love it and I can use it on my top and bottom lashes. I also wanted to pick up this ABH scissor because I had to trim somebody's lashes one time when I was doing like a gig and I didn't have like small scissors, so I actually had to use like a regular size scissor. And it was so embarrassing and I felt so bad that I was just using a regular scissor. So when the sale came around, I picked up this ABH scissor, which is super cute. And then the last thing, of course, this is not from Sephora. I did cave like a little bee and picked up Whisper of Guilt. Even though I already have Whisper of Guilt, I fell for the packaging, you know, I'll admit it. I am a makeup addict and so I fell for the packaging and I bought MAC Whisper of Guild. But honestly, like, why don't all companies make beautiful compacts like this? I mean, I feel like MAC doesn't really do a lot of things right for me, but uh, this collection, they freaking killed it. So that is everything that I picked up in the last couple of days. I also have some more stuff coming from Sephora. I totally snatched up a Mia 2, a Clarisonic during the Black Friday sale, that sale like blew my freaking mind. They had some awesome stuff that we had just picked up from the VIB sale for even cheaper. And yeah, it was it was insane. It was, I'm glad they bought that sale back where you can shop as Rouge twice. Cause let's be real, it was so unfair when they changed it like a year ago where Rouge shopped first and then the VIBs got to shop second. And then some like cool stuff would come out when it was a VIB turn to shop and I'm like, excuse me, I'm like, I'm a Rouge, like how do I not get to shop? Awesome deals, like that's so unfair, like I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad they changed that. So if you guys wanna see any specific reviews on any of these products, please let me know down in the comments. And if you are new to my channel and you did make it to the end, I hope you will consider subscribing. I love to film reviews. A lot of reviews and I'm like such an eyeshadow palette junkie too so if you guys are into eyeshadow palettes like I am definitely go ahead and subscribe I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me as well anyway guys I hope you have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching this video I'll catch you on the next one bye